Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Come on in. See if I can find you. There we go. I got ya. I got ya, I got ya. Comments come up from just a few seconds early. So everybody say hi. So I can make sure comments are up. <laughs> say hi. Why are you all cockeyed? There we go. I see you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. And it's 10 o'clock. Woohoo! So, Michelle Benitez did a dragon. And if y'all saw it, it was kind of the S shaped dragon. So, y'all know what I did. Gotta do it live. She's like, yay! I said, yay, yay! <laughs> so, I figured it out. Y'all know I don't ask how anybody did anything. Um, I just kind of figure it out. So it may not be done exactly how she did it, um, but it's going to be done how I would do it. Okay. Um, so we are doing the black dragon this morning. So we're going to prep this head um, before we go any further. Let me get some of this out of the way. So that we can do the head, get it done, get that glue set, um, and then we can do it. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Thanks for floating my boat. I appreciate it. So, we've got the black dragon. I am using purple mesh. So, I am going to pair it with the purple and pink eyes. These are the Dragon Eyes 25 millimeter from Amazon. This is the child's mask costume, okay? So it comes with the head, the wings, and the tail. So what I do first is just like the Green Dragon, I went right up in here. You can see my finger now going in there and I cut a slit with a knife that way my eyes would fit right in there and right underneath so I cut the slits on both sides okay so we're gonna put in the eyes we're gonna use the point as the top so I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of glue in the slit, we are going to have to work quickly. And then pop it in that bottom. In the bottom slit. If you work too slow, you're not going to have time. To get it just right and straight up and down okay so we popped in that eyeball I'm gonna do the same thing to that side Get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Just trying to match it up with the other one. So we've got both eyes in. Okay, now what we're going to do is, I don't want to see behind anything I put behind the eyes, right? So, I've just got some black felt and we're gonna glue it right to the back. 
going to put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue there. Just extra protection for the eyes. Glue right around that felt piece. And we're going to hold that on there. This is the child's costume from Amazon. I've given the links. Tina's given the links. And we will give them one more time right after the live. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to this side. And now you can't see through these eyeballs. I'm just going to hold that for a second. So, what I also did was I cut the piece that goes over the head in half. And you can see that I put zip ties on each side of it. So when I put it to the board, I'm going to zip tie it. You can see it kind of stretches. So I'm going to run that zip tie right underneath. That way if it does, if somebody does pull it, they're not going to pull it out because this zip tie is going to stop it. Okay? So it can't be pulled off of the board. Okay? So let's put... that aside and let it sit. All right, now, what board did I use? This is the oval board. So all I did was take a jigsaw and cut it right down the middle. Sorry, I don't have my Sharpie in here. Um, so just cut it right down the middle, literally, right down the middle, and then you're going to flip your sides to get this S shape and zip tie it together. Now, I did one other thing because when you zip tie these together, sometimes it can still be a little flimsy and rock back and forth. So I got some dowels and I zip tied them here and here to the board. That way it doesn't rock back and forth. Okay, everybody still with me? Another thing that I did, we know that we cannot find, let me get these wings off to the side here. We cannot find 10 inch black wide stripe mesh. I have looked everywhere. So you know what I did? I went to Unique in the Creek and they have the 21 inch black stripe mesh. So I took my wood burner and I cut it this way at 10 inches and then I took my wood burner and cut it 10 inches, 10 inches. So you're going to waste about an inch on that ed, edge. And that's it. Okay? So this is another way to get your black poly, or I'm sorry, black white stripe. Now I would not recommend this method if you were going to do like the sunflower petal or something like that. But with the petal I'm using today, you don't see those cut edges. So you can get away with using the 21 inch, cutting it at 10, 10, 10, and then you're gonna waste an inch, right? Because it's 21 inches, you need two 10 inch pieces. So you only need nine pieces to do or 10, 
this wreath or this um, 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 dragon. Lord, I can't think. All right. Let's get that out of our way. Okay. So we have all of this done. So you can see that I set up the board after I got them connected and I went, let me zoom you in, make sure you can see really well. I went from the whole inside to the outside. I did this regular set and then here is where we're going to come in with our black piece. And I think I covered up how many how many pieces you need total. I covered it up. So let me count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pieces. That's what I thought, but I wanted to be sure. So we made 19, 19, and 19 in whatever color combination you're going to use. So I am using the dark purple. This is poly burlap. I'm using the black white stripe and I'm using the lavender as the belly part. Okay, so you need 19, 19, and 19. Or depending on how you cut your board, you may need 20. Okay, so let's make a set of petals. So we're going to use the lavender, the dark purple, and the black. So here is the 10 inch piece I cut out of the 21 inch mesh. So it's going to be curved side up, diamond shape. We're going to bring that top to the bottom. Just kind of flatten it out. I'm going to bring this tip down. And get this nice point and I'm just kind of holding it to kind of flatten that down a little bit more and to keep this piece in place. And then we're going to bring this tip this way. Kind of crisscross them, get that point, flatten it out, and then we're going to grab the end and we're going to band it. And so that is going to be our black scale going right down the middle of him. Okay. Now this is black white stripe. These are all poly burlap. We've got the lavender and the dark purple. And it's cut at 10 inches. So for this one, we're going to bring that top to the bottom. Kind of flatten it out. I'm going to bring left to right, so this tip to this tip. Oh, do I need to bring it all back out? Sorry about that. Okay, so we're just lining up these tips, lining up this edge. So that's what we have. And then we're going to bring the bottom to the top. So this point to this point. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger right here in the middle and I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull out and back. So pull out and back 
So I'm elongating that petal and kind of giving it that curve. Now I will say the poly burlap does not curl as, as well as the wide stripe that I used on the Green Dragon. Okay, but you do get a little hint of that curve. And then we're just gonna pinch and we're gonna band it. Okay, so same thing, 10 by 10, curl side up, diamond shaped, top to the bottom, bring left to right, Turn it sideways, bring bottom to the top. Go right in the middle, per curve, and pull back. It's best, I, I like the poly burlap, or I'm sorry, the white stripe, and actually the fabric mesh gives it that nice curve as well. I was playing with the fabric mesh because that's what the dragon kits are gonna be, poly, or, um, fabric mesh not this one and they're coming um, but the um, fabric mesh works as well and then we're just going to pinch yeah you can definitely sell it on Etsy just don't put Game of Thrones don't put any anything like that because you definitely won't be able to do that but this is this dragon that we're doing is not copyrighted, it's not trademarked, it's just a dragon. Okay, so there are the three pieces that we're using. So let's start putting this bad boy together. I do have one more set of petals that we'll make once we get up here somewhere. All right, so the head is gonna come here, so this is the belly. So I'm putting the light purple on the belly. Hello, hello. And we're putting the dark purple on top. I'm gonna do this where y'all can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to come in right here in the middle and we're going to put our black scale. We will adjust all of these petals once we get them all on there, but that's kind of what it's going to look like. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Let me get some petals up here. So who's making these dragons? The one I'm gonna do for the kit is gonna be just the head um, because those are gonna be, um, number one, easier. Um, number two, they're gonna be shippable, okay? Um, and what I mean by shippable is you're not gonna have to have a huge box to accommodate something like this if you're selling it, okay? Um, so the kit I'm going to do is going to be shippable once it's made. So that's why I'm doing it like that. 
these you would have to have a huge box to ship them so unless they'll sell locally they're going to be really hard to ship it can be done just going to need a huge box <laughs> Your dragon supplies came. Yay. So I know these petals are looking funky right now. Oh, I didn't cut those off. But we'll get them all adjusted. To do this one too. <laughs> They're fun. I'm ex I'm having fun with these things. I want to try one with the lolly petal. Like not the whole thing lolly, but incorporating the lolly in there some way. Good morning. A good week. What is today? Is today Thursday? Yeah, I think it's Thursday. So VIP, we have Wreath Critique tonight. Do you need two oval boards? Nope, you just need one oval board cut in half. And you can just use your jigsaw. Oh, hold on, I put that one in upside down. I know it's going to happen at least once. You hope I put the dowels where they won't be seen? Well, of course. That's why they're on the top side. Oh, see, so y'all didn't catch me. I put that one in upside down as well. Thank you. 
Okay. I will do the petals again here in just a minute because you're going to want to see how I did this black and cut it using the 21 inch black white stripe. For this, for this petal, I really like the poly burlap, but the wide stripe works just as well. For these petals, I really like the wide stripe because it gives me that nice curl or curve. Um, but they all work. They all work, okay? Now I'm paranoid about how these are getting put on. So I'm going to double check from now on. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Right? And Lori, because I couldn't find the 10 inch, I used the 21 inch and cut it. Let me get a few more of these in, and I'll show you how I did it. No, this one is not probably shippable. I'm just doing this because I saw it and it was amazing. So I have a line of people, family members who all want a dragon. So my brother wants one, my son wants one, and of course Monk wants one. So they'll have to fight over which ones they get. <laughs> I'm gonna make three and they can decide. But the ones I do as a kit are going to be shippable because it's only going to be the mask and not the wings and the tail. Yeah, Monk will get first, first dibs for Showa. Let me get this one in and I'll show you how we did these petals one last time. So that's what we have so far. Now all the petals are not in place yet. All right, so for the black, what I did was I got the 21 inch mesh from Unique in the Creek. I used my wood burner. Now I'm just going to show you with my rotary cutter, but I used a wood burner because when you do it like this, there's more of a chance of it fraying. The only reason I did it like this was number one, I wanted this mesh, and number two, I knew my cut pieces were going to be hidden and not seen. Okay, so I cut it at, now y'all, I'm really particular how I cut this mesh, um, so I always go between the lines when I'm using the wood burner. So. 
All right, so I'm going to try to do it here, but stay in my line. Okay, so we have our 10 inch piece. Now remember, I did this with my wood burner, but I'm just showing y'all with my rotary cutter. And then we're gonna cut another 10 inch piece. And our last 10 inch piece. So yes, you are wasting one inch that's it but if you want this mesh you're going to do what you need to do right so that gives us our two 10 inch pieces using the 21 inch mesh so if you want it unique in the creek has it or they did so that's how i'm using the black white stripe because you can't find the 10 inch anywhere all right so 10 by 10 curl side up top to bottom flatten it out okay I'm gonna bring the right tip down getting that nice point I'm gonna hold it and then we're gonna bring this tip this way still holding that down to hold that tip and then just pinch right here at the bottom And band it okay so that's the front but we're using the back so that we get that scale look okay so dark purple still 10 by 10 top to the bottom flatten it out we're going to bring left to right, matching up these tips, turn it sideways, going to bring bottom to the top, and then I'm going to go right in the pedal and I'm pulling back and out. So it kind of elongates the pedal and gives it that curve. Okay, and then just pinch. And band it. Okay. Do it one more time. 10 by 10, curl side up, diamond shape, top to bottom. Flatten it out, left to right. Sideways, bottom to the top, in, pull out, and down. And then band it. Okay, there you go. All right, let's finish up this bad boy. Now I know.
know the, the petals are all wonky. We will get them fixed. Once I get everything in. Good morning, good morning. So this is an oval board from Unique in the Creek. Cut in half. And shaped in an S. This would be really cool as a snake too. I've already been looking at snake. <laughs> snake costume heads. <laughs> and I run the dowels right down so it's not flimsy where those two pieces come together. The Dragon Craze. I don't know if Charnella cuts... Oh, I did that one backwards, y'all. Y'all aren't... Y'all aren't helping me here. I'll reach out to her and find out. Because I know a lot of people don't need to have a saw in their hand. <laughs> oh, now y'all are telling me I saw it. I saw it too late. Y'all hired again. Thank you for floating my boat. Getting there. Snakeheads, I and the all the ones I could find are like their mouths are like wide open. And I don't want a wide open mouth. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm out. <laughs> Watching from Scotland. Yes. This is the oval board cut in half. What would you sell this for, honestly? I don't know. I would have to price break it down when I'm creating something like this. I don't I don't typically know until after I've got it completed. But this one would probably be a hundred plus easily. Thanks, Dana Downs. There's my um, YouTube link where you can go watch all my other lives. The Green Dragon is on YouTube as well. We're rocking and rolling now, y'all. I say that. 
knock on wood. I know my nails match the mesh. <laughs> Tried the dragon the other way on the sucker board. Made three of them. My son is a big fan. Awesome. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday, right? So tomorrow, I believe I'm on Unique in the Creek at 10. And we're going to use their foam, the red, white, and blue foam from Unique in the Creek to make a flower. They are Lynn. I just had a moment. <laughs> Sometimes we all just have moments. We have to step back, reevaluate. Just don't step back and reevaluate too long. Get right back on that horse. I want the only thing I wonder what this would look like with lights in it. But the only thing I don't know if you'd be able to see it if you put it underneath. Does that make sense? Where in Texas do I live? I am in League City, so I'm right smack in the middle of Houston and Galveston. Oh, yes, they would. I'm getting stabbed down here. You're near Dallas, so you're about five, five and a half hours from me. Let's get all these out of the way. No, I can't do that. See, I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Your sister-in-law is in Texas City? I'm about 10 minutes from Texas City. Depending on traffic, of course. Almost, y'all. We're almost there. I know y'all are having a hard time seeing what I'm doing, probably. I apologize, but it's big. Will this fit between two doors? Nope. 
It probably would. You'd have to smash it. But once I get the wings on there, there's no way. Okay, so let me bring up the mask and see something real quick. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I am going to use, we'll just use these last two petals. I don't know where my other black one went, but that's all right. I don't think we're going to need it. did cut those two pieces so I might as well use that one if I remember where I put it I put it down here yeah I don't sell tutorials thing I may do is do it in the VIP group and then you have to be a part of the VIP group to see it but I don't just outright sell tutorials everything I do right here on my page is free Last piece is in. Get all of these out of my way. Over here. Oh, piece of that came out. How did that happen? Need to tie right back over that. Not that you're going to see it, but that's just my OCD kicking in. This is a kid's costume mask from Amazon. All right, so I showed y'all how we did the eyes earlier. So if you missed that part, watch the replay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from, how am I going to show you this? I'm going to go from here to here and from here to here, and we're going to attach each side to the board. Sorry, y'all. I'm working underneath. Hold on. Okay, 
and I told you I put zip ties on each side of here that way it cannot be pulled so I'm just gonna make sure that we get below that zip tie okay see what I did that way if it gets pulled it's not going past that zip tie anyway baby now what I will do is now when it's on a wall it's not gonna matter um, or on my fence but you can see how that goes down a little bit um, so if I was gonna sell this I would find a way to either add some glue behind this pedal and the mask to keep it in place because you don't want to sell this and have that mask floppy. Okay? But I'm not selling this one, so I'm not worried about it. Okay? If I was going to sell it, I would find a way to adhere that just a little bit better. Okay? Now I've marked on here where my wings are going to go. So let me show you on this board what I did. So I marked on this board, and I'm not sure where it's at, but let's just pick this hole and this hole. Yep, you can add it more up the board. Yep, whatever you want. Um, and then I lined up, without taking my wings apart, I lined up where those holes would hit right here in the middle. Okay? And then that's where I'm going to attach it, just like this. Okay? Now that's all in theory. Let's see if it works out that way. <laughs> aren't going to be able to see this part. I apologize. Trying to find my hole, y'all. to the side so it's easier for me to attach it. Now 
know, it might be easier to take them apart and attach them separately. But I'm not trying to do all that. Just like adding a sign. It's the hardest part sometimes. I'm sweating, y'all. I'm sweating. Oh my god. Now I'm thinking. Oh, it worked, y'all. Can you see that? But I'm thinking it may need to go up just a little bit more. But it did work. So hold on. Back down. me to sweat so much I can't believe I just took it off. Yeah, I like it right there, I think. Are you laughing at me? No. I just get excited when something actually works. Come on, people.
that worked. Now, all we have to add is be put on flat on the board. Yep, yep, you could do it however you wanted. The tail comes with just this little hook. So I'm just going to go right back over that zip tie. It's huge, y'all. So that's about the best you're going to see until I get it hung up. I know it's going to need its own zip code. So what I will do is I'm going to go through here and just fix all of these petals, get them all exactly where I want them. Paying attention to that curve. Once I get him hung up on my fence, I'll really be able to um, see what it looks like and where I need to. Um, I'm going to have to use every part of my body. There he is. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, y'all will see it when I take pictures. There you go. Holy man. He is pretty cool. But I'll, I'll take pictures and we'll definitely show everything off. So once again, quick recap oval board unique in the creek cut in half turn and flip one side so that you get that s shape dragon pieces or the kids halloween costumes from amazon um, i've got the red one yet to do um, so kids halloween costume eyeballs 25 millimeters 
or you can get 30. I see that I'm starting to freeze. Uh, for this dragon, you need 19, 19, and 19, inside, middle, outside, whatever color combination you want. Um, all the petals were cut 10 by 10. And I'm sweating. I'm out of here. VIP, we will see you tonight for Wreath Critique. Um, everybody else, I will see you tomorrow on Unique in the Creek, where we're going to use their red, white, and blue foam from Unique in the Creek to make a patriotic flower. Um, so I'll see you on UITC tomorrow. Bye, y'all.